Hi kids. Okay, greatest films of all time, number 31, Stalker, from 1979, uh, directed by Andrei uh, Taratovsky. Uh, this is his uh, second entry on this list so far, in a short time. Uh, there will be at least another one. Spoiler. Uh, so this is based on the novel um, Roadside Picnic. Um, by Arkady and Boris Tchaikovsky. Uh, they are Soviet science fiction writers. They are brothers. Uh, they are known for their Noon Universe series, um, which is referenced by George Cameron in the Avatar series. So uh, this film is sort of sci-fi. Uh, it's a adaption of the novel, but it's not straightforward. Uh, Tarkovsky wanted to make it more open-ended, maybe. Uh, open to interpretation. This is definitely a film that uh, was encouraged to you to take away from it whatever you wanted to take away from it. Tarkovsky, the poet of film. So again, uh, slow cinema, uh, very long shots, static camera, just watching. Um, not maybe what you would think if you're not familiar with Stalker, just based on the title, Stalker. Maybe you're thinking something Hitchcockian, some sort of thriller, some guy looking out a window stalking people. No, so Stalker uh, is leading two characters uh, through uh, a zone, militarized, uh, defended zone, where maybe there's a remnants of an alien civilization, and apparently there is a room within the zone that will grant you wishes. So, Stalker is. Um, yeah, so originally uh, the film, the exteriors were shot and then the film stock was uh, given to a Soviet studio to, to develop. They were unfamiliar with developing that film stock, so it was ruined. So all the uh, exterior scenes had to be reshot. This film was almost uh, had to be filmed three times over. So troubled production, another troubled production on here. Happens a lot on this list. Uh, so if you are making a movie and you have a troubled production, maybe it's a sign you're making a really good movie. Um, so Jury Rareberg was the cinematog cinematographer initially for those exterior scenes. Um, after the damage stock, he was replaced. So. Our last film, number 32, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, had a cinematographer replaced again in this next film. Um, he had worked with Tchaikovsky, I think, twice prior to this. Um, so Alexander Kronetsky yeah, replaces him. Um, so, trivia time. Um, in 1986, the Cacophony Society of San Francisco started doing, inspired by Stalker, what they called zone trips. So they would take trips out to the zone. Um, and in the fourth such zone trip, 1990, uh, they decided to uh, burn an effigy of a man um, inspired by the film Wicker Man. So zone trip inspired by Stalker, burning of a man inspired by Wicker Man. That is how we get the Burning Man festival. So Burning Man, partly inspired by Stalker. So the uh, Stalker is number 31 on this list. Uh, British Film Institute, greatest films of all time, 2012 list. It is number 29 on the critics list and number 30 on the directors. They have pretty similar views of that. Uh, in 2022, just last year, it dropped to 43 on the critics list but rose to number 14 on the director's list. And that's how it gets to number 31 on this list. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.